Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is Nightmare Baller One here. My review of Chakar's Grid and Glory. And yes, I'm holding the microphone now because some dumbass broke my microphone. So now I have to hold my microphone. So yeah, let's get started. The night started off with Daisy Hayes and Chuck Taylor cutting a promo, average promo. Nothing really to talk about. It wasn't really funny. It wasn't anything special. The first match, Daisy Hayes and Chuck Taylor versus Sarah Del Rey and Bobby Dempsey. This was all right, you know, it wasn't nothing special or nothing like that. It was all right, just it is what it is. Um, I'd say about two stars. Bobby Dempsey did look all right in this. I thought he totally sucked, but he actually can wrestle a little bit. And you know Sarah Del Rey is Sarah Del Rey. Very fun match to start the show. I think this is the right match to start the show. Two stars. All right, then we had Grand Akuma versus Psycho. Uh, this, this right here was, you know, it was, it was good because it got every, both guys, both guys got to show off their spots, but it wasn't, you know, too serious or anything like that. Uh, Grand Akuma, I'm impressed with as always. And Psycho, I've never seen, you know, I've seen him one time before this. And, you know, he's just as good as he was, you know, now he's good, good Japanese wrestler. The first time, you know, I saw him was the show actually before this called, uh, Cafe Culture. Which I may review. I'm not sure yet. But, um, yeah, he's uh, one of Taka Michinoku's students, and it shows, too, because he reminded me of Taka a little bit. All in all, this is a good match. I'd say two and three, four stars. Good match. All right, uh, then we had Hydra and Tim Dunst. And Tim Dunst's new character is dumb. I'm sorry. I like, you know, I like, I like Ultraman is black. I like Hydra. I think Hydra is a funny character. Crossbones, I ain't really got too much to say about Crossbones, you know what I'm saying? I just think, you know, that Tim Dunst's new character is retarded. But it went against Super Smash Brothers of Stupefied and Player Uno. This was a very fun match, y'all. Very, very fun match. I enjoyed this a lot. Tim Dunst is a good talent, in my opinion. But the character is stupid. And Hydra is, you know, he, he's funny. So, yeah. And they had like it had a nice comedy spot in this match with Hydra and uh I think it was Player Uno were doing like a test of strength. <laughs> and then uh Hydra pressed the pause button on Player Uno's controller on his leg and he had to pause. <laughs> like if you have you seen any of his matches, like whatever, it, it's funny. It's just like they'll press the pause button and they'll do like a bunch of shit to him, and then they'll unpause him and then he'll like act like he feels all the pain, then it's funny. It's like he'll start selling after and they unpause him. It's, it's funny. I guess you had to be there. But, um, yeah, it was, this is a good match, though. Three stars. Very good match. Uh, might be overrating it a little bit, but I had that much fun watching it. All right, then next we had Vin Gerard versus Lin J Lince Dorado. This whole thing started, like, Vin Gerard got suspended by Chikara. Him and Bull Payne both got suspended. And uh, basically, Vin Gerard, the night before, came out dressed as Spider-Man. And... You know, he cost the colony a match, so he pretty much said he wanted to wrestle on the show. So he wrestled Lince Dorado, and I don't like either one of these guys, so I didn't like this match. <laughs> um, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to rate it because that might be a little biased on my part, but let's just put it like this. I didn't like it at all. That's just me. All right. Uh, then we had Claudio Castanoli, El Pantera, and Sanjay Dutt versus Mike Quackenbush, Turbo, and Jorge Rivera. This match was very, very, very good, yo. A lot of nice spots in this. Um, Sanjay doing stuff that I hadn't seen him do in years, in all honesty. And uh, Mike Quackenbush just showing why he is the guy when it comes to chain wrestling. Because this man, he just he uh, is, he makes everything look so effortless, y'all. Mike Quackenbush is one of the best talents in the world. And Jorge Rivera is a legend. So is El Pantero. Pantero. Pantera. And this match was almost great three and three quarter stars y'all a lot of fun my only great witness is that they gave it a little too much time that's just me all right uh then after this match we had the promo of the year y'all basically eddie kingston was in the back and you know how he cuts his promo in front of the camera he basically in this promo he, he compares it's like he tells a story like he compares pro wrestling to a female treating him badly. <laughs> okay, he yeah, it's just it's just beautiful. Like he uh, you know, and then he says how she did me wrong, and 
she did this and she did and he explained why he was no showing shows y'all if you know if you're a fan is you know if you're a fan of kingston you know that he's a you know he was a recovering alcoholic at one time and the reason why he was missing shows is because he relapsed he started drinking again you know what i'm saying so he needed to find himself he basically got help and relief and he said that you know and some of this promo felt really real like he said that he wakes up and he looks in the mirror and he just doesn't want to live anymore and if he has to wake up every morning and feel like that everybody's gonna feel his pain beautiful beautiful promo the best mic worker since mick foley in my opinion but him versus shane storm wasn't too shabby either if y'all seen their first match though this was nowhere near as good as that but it still was good or well, the match they had earlier this year, two eyebrows are better than one. This was, uh, yeah, this was, this was good, but it wasn't as good as that match. And Kingston came out with like face paint on and cursed, painted across his chest. Was, I love this guy. I'm sorry, I'm a Mark, but I can't help. It. Um, anyway, three and a half stars, y'all. Very stiff. Shane Storm actually bled again in it, but this time you could tell it was planned instead of the last time where he just broke his nose. <laughs> um. But, yeah, the next match was the Colony versus Lair. I'm not going to ruin the ending, y'all. The ending was uh, kind of cool, but kind of weird at the same Like, I didn't understand it, but at the same time, it was it was, it was was kind of cool, <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, uh, the next we had the Colony versus Larry Sweeney, Shane Hawk, and Mitch Ryder, the Fabulous Three. They cut a very, Larry Sweeney was very funny in the promo before this match, and the match wasn't that bad either. I just don't like Mitch Ryder at all. I think Shane Hawk is all right. I love Larry Sweeney. I love watching him wrestle. I just love seeing him. A great character. And the Colony, three talented wrestlers, y'all. And this match was pretty good. I give it two and a half stars. I mean, you know, it, it was just all right. It was what it was, you know, watchable. Very watchable, I would say. All right, um, then we had Brody Lee versus Pele Primo and a squash. You know, Pele can squash. I'm not even going to rate this. But uh, Pele, yeah, you know, he can do squash matches. So, yeah. Um, and all in all, I would say that Brody Lee looked more dominant than he did against anybody else in this matchup than he has anyone else. Then after the match, he continued to put the beating on uh, Pele Primo that he did in the matchup. Then Claudio comes out there and makes the save for Pele. And, yeah, this because uh, Brody Lee and Claudio had, like, this rivalry. And they still haven't had a clear-cut winner. So, yeah, that's why. All in all, very good match. Two, well, well not good match, but good segment. After, well, I wouldn't even say good segment because it wasn't much of a segment. I'm not going to rate this because it was a squash. But, yeah. <laughs> all right, um, moving on, we had the Osirian Portal versus Incoherence. If y'all don't know, the Osirian Portal is the Funky Pharaoh Masses. And... The snake guy, Ophidian. <laughs> I can't remember his nickname. And uh, Incoherence is Delirious and Hollow Wicked, a very good team, which is why I don't understand why they don't bring Hollow Wicked in for more Ring of Honor shows. Hint, hint, wink, wink, Gabe Sapolsky. Um, anyway, yeah, this was a good match. Uh, nice comedy spots. Even had a little bit of Matt wrestling. Um, I like their finishing move, Incoherence. It just takes too long to set up. But all in all, this was a good match. Three stars. Very good match. All right, uh, then we had Incognito versus Helios in the main event for the Rey de Voladores. Oh, yeah. The match before was actually for the tag titles, I forgot to say. Uh, it was for um, the uh, Campeones de Parejas. I just forgot to say. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, then you know, Incognito versus Helios. This was good, too. But the only problem with this is that Incognito got hurt on a tope. And you could tell because it just showed. And the match kind of suffered from it. So I would say this match was about about two and three, four stars. It could have been better. It just lacked flow because you can tell Incognito got hurt. And a little no trivia fact, well, people that follow Mexican wrestling probably know this, but Incognito was the original Mystico. But um, anyway, this show was an 8 out of 10. I thought it was good. Um, you know, would I recommend this? Eh, if you're a Chikara fan, I definitely recommend this. But if you're just a fan wanting to get into Chikara, this is not the best show to watch. Probably one of the tournaments, something like that. But anyway, y'all, I holler.